Plenty of sunshine again today. Plenty warm out there. It's going to be a nice evening. All the winds pick you up just a little bit overnight tonight. Mild, our low 61 to Falls, Aberdeen and Pier. Uh, windy 50 some for a low in Rapid City. Then tomorrow, maybe a couple degrees cooler than today. 81 in Sioux Falls, a breezy 85 in Pier. Windy 85 in uh, the central part of South Dakota. At Rapid City, a windy 77. Now there could be a few thunder showers on the western edge of South Dakota. It's going to be about the same later on this week. We'll have that and your holiday weekend forecast coming up. Keller Land News starts now. Live from Kelloland Media Group, Kelloland News first at four. Why lawmakers in North Dakota are calling for an investigation into the proposed Summit Carbon Solutions Pipeline. Plus, authorities in Minnesota are investigating multiple reports of water being mixed with fuel at gas stations. And later, it is a salute to local veterans as one local organization breaks out the grills ahead of Memorial Day. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to First at Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. We're following breaking news southeast of Fort Pier, where a house explosion killed two people and sent three others to the hospital. Investigators aren't releasing much information on the two people who died, only that one of the victims was an adult. Two children and an adult man are hospitalized. And take a look, as you can see in this picture, the house is flattened. The explosion sent debris flying 50 to 100 yards in all directions. The only thing left standing is some children's playground equipment. Stanley County officials tell us the state fire marshal's office and the DCI are investigating. At this point, the explosion does not appear to be suspicious. People in Sioux Falls may be paying more for their utility soon. The proposal would last from 2024 to 2027. For the average Sioux Falls homeowner, the total per month increase would range from $3.70 to $4.22 over the next four years. Now, this would impact water purification, sewage, storm drainage, and sanitary landfill. City Light and Power does not have a proposed rate increase. City officials say that this is to cover anticipated costs in these years ahead of the keep utilities fully functional. The proposed utility rate hikes will be taken up by the Sioux Falls City Council on June 6. To see a breakdown of the rate increases, we have set up a link on Kelloland.com. Crews in Sioux Falls will spend the next few months improving sidewalks along West 41st Street. Construction started today between Millow, Willow and Grange Avenues. Crews are improving ADA accessibility, including accessible curb ramps and sidewalks. This work should be complete by August. Drivers are urged to use caution and slow down near the sidewalk construction area. Boy, they've really paid attention to the sidewalks. Uh, last year it was all along Minnesota Avenue. And now this year, 41st Street. 41st Street, yeah, two of the busiest streets in South Dakota. And it's warm while they're working on it those It is sidewalks. really warm out there, Megan. Well, we are above normal for this time of year, temperature-wise. Right now, 85 degrees in Sioux Falls with plenty of sunshine, plus a south wind is helping us warm up. In Aberdeen, there have been a few rain showers this afternoon. Looks like those are taking a break. 84 degrees. Thicker cloud cover due to those rain showers, though. Sunshine at 84 in Pierre, south wind at 16 miles an hour. 77, there are clear skies in Rapid City right now, but still dealing with some Canadian wildfire smoke this afternoon. Taking a look at our satellite, we do have a few of those popcorn clouds across Kelloland. Nothing is coming out of those this afternoon. The thicker cloud cover is up by Aberdeen. And like I said, a few rain showers have passed through that area this afternoon, even some earlier than our radar loop goes. Temperatures this afternoon are above normal. If Sisseton is coming in at 90, that ties the record this afternoon. 84 degrees in Yankton and 66 in Custer. We have a stronger south to southeast wind of 10 or 15 to even 30 miles an hour with some higher wind gusts possible. That will continue the next couple of days. For tonight, partly to mostly clear skies. Lows will be in the upper 50s to the low 60s. And for your day tomorrow, partly to mostly clear skies, 81 Sioux Falls, 85 in Aberdeen and Pier, 77 in Rapid City, where we have that chance to see rain and thunderstorms, along with that stronger south to southeast wind. That pattern continues Friday and through the weekend. We'll take a closer look at your upcoming holiday weekend in just a little bit. 
All right. Thanks a lot, Megan. North Dakota lawmakers are asking for an investigation into the proposed Summit Carbon Solutions Pipeline, which will pass through South Dakota. On Tuesday, people gathered with signs to protest the CO2 pipeline. Senator Jeff Magrum says that he delivered a letter to North Dakota's Attorney General concerning the project. The senator says that Summit Carbon Solutions has only revealed five investors of the CO2 pipeline. One of the investors Summit disclosed is TPG Rise. TPG Rise, according to various articles, has a major investor in it known as the China Silk Road Fund. The China Silk Road Fund is directly owned by the Chinese government. Senator Magrum says that the project may violate a law that prevents foreign land and land ownership. A woman who attended the protest says that she's frustrated with Summit Carbon Solutions and the company's refusal to answer the public's questions. Anger. Anger because it's, it, it appears to us that it's about the money. It's not about the people. It's about the money. Now, this came on the same day that an amended ordinance to address carbon dioxide pipelines in Minnehaha County, South Dakota, stalled at a commissioner's meeting. Officials with Yellowstone National Park say they had to kill a newborn bison because its herd wouldn't take the animal back after a man picked it up. Park officials say the calf became separated from its mother when the herd crossed a river. The man pushed the struggling calf up from the river and onto a road. Park rangers tried to reunite the calf with the herd, but were unsuccessful. Visitors saw the calf walking up to and allowing car and following cars and people, creating a hazard, so park staff killed the animal. Custer State Park in South Dakota has also had issues with people getting too close to bison. Last year, a woman was sent to the hospital after being attacked by a bison while hiking with her dog. With the summer tourism season starting up, park officials are reminding people to not get too close to bison. Stay near your car and be aware of your surroundings. Custer State Park officials say if you notice a bison change its behavior, like if it stops eating or looks at you, those are signs that you could be in a dangerous situation.